Ladies and gentlemen, this match is a UWF contenders match. In the ring at this time, at 238 pounds, the number four contender from Vero Beach, Florida, Terry Taylor. And from every man's nightmare, at 264 pounds, the number six contender, Steve. In the ring, the special referee for this match, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert. One fall with a 30-minute time limit. Some of you people may not even know what happened to the tag team belts. But if you don't know, I'm going to tell you right now. We lost them. Like Sting is certainly Magnum, not trusting uh, hot stuff Eddie Gilbert, and who can blame him really? Certainly not, but you know, it's very interesting the hot spot that Eddie Gilbert's got himself put in here by Commissioner John Ayers. John Ayers assigned Gilbert this match to really put him on that hot seat. Here comes senior referee Tommy Gilbert. Tommy Gilbert conversing with Sting here. Tommy's he's gonna have to rule, make a ruling here regarding his son. I think it was a very wise request on the part of Sting because I certainly wouldn't trust him as a referee for any of my matches. Ladies and gentlemen, hot stuff Eddie Gilbert is being banished from the ringside area. He is a dejected young man. He wanted to officiate this matchup. Hot stuff Eddie Gilbert is leaving the ringside area. He's not a happy young man to say the least. We'll take this opportunity to take a commercial break and we'll come back with this big matchup after you hear this. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Jim Ross and Magnum TA at ringside. The rabid crowd here at Barton Coliseum. They're living here this week. They're alive with enthusiasm. And this is a tremendous matchup here on national television. You see Terry Taylor right there taking advantage of that slow break, using that headbutt, trying to slow the man down any way he can because he knows he's going to have to rely on any kind of cheap shot he can come up with to come out on top of Sting. A good example of Terry Taylor changing his style in some ways. He has not used a headbutt, to my knowledge, in the past. He used it at that time, perhaps out of desperation. Taylor. I thought Sting was trying to get Taylor over, but the perspiration. These men have competed so hard. Taylor came right off. And here's Taylor outside by us into the steel railing. Tremendous fall to the floor right there. Sting needs to get his, get, his, get his leg back underneath him right there. I think he collapsed underneath that suplex right there because that leg was still weak. But he had enough strength to kick Terry Taylor out of the ring. Now if he can get his win back, I think he can turn this battle around. Sting outside. Going Taylor back in the ring. He wants to beat him in the ring. That's where your business is conducted. But Taylor, the veteran, catching Steen coming in with that buried the knee to the midsection. And now Taylor back on the offense. You know, this battle's just back and forth, but I still got to think to myself that Sting's got something up his sleeve. And there, a beautiful sleeper hole being executed right there. He's got Terry Taylor in a whole lot of trouble. If he doesn't make it to the ropes right now, this battle could all be over. The massive arms of Sting wrapping around the neck of Terry Taylor. Taylor trying to reach for the referee, trying to reach for the ropes. He is in a desperate state here on the Universal Wrestling Federation as Sting pushes his way down on Taylor. He's cranking that sleeper in, and Taylor... Maybe going out, Taylor, all the way down to the mat, and the referee keeping a very close eye on this, and Taylor is not within reach of the ropes at this point. Looks to me as though the blood flow has been completely cut off from the brain, so the man's going completely unconscious right here, and I think we're very soon to see an ending in this match.
Sting has got that sleeper, and he's got it cranked. Taylor laying motionless on the canvas here. The referee checking, and we may have a winner right here momentarily. Taylor trying to reach down. It's fourth quarter for him. It's a fourth quarter for Terry Taylor. Are his shoulders on the mat? Referee down, one, two, and Taylor, his foot is barely on the ropes, but that will constitute a break. Well, that tells you that Terry Taylor still has a sense enough to realize where he's at in the ring at all times, and that shows you what kind of savvy this man's made of because he's taking a tremendous amount of punishment right there. I know he's trying to get his senses back about him. Taylor now, a little cheap shot. And he's reversing into Sting. Terry Taylor with a neck breaker. Taylor showing his tremendous skill and expertise with that neck breaker. That may be the maneuver. Taylor with not enough strength to really cover Sting, and one arm will not do it. Both these men are really showing the true caliber of their strength right here because they've both taken a tremendous amount of punishment, and neither one of them has given in as of yet. Right now, Terry Taylor trying to set Sting up for a pile driver. This could be it right here, Jim Ross. Sting powers out, and Taylor is elevated. Both men are down. Taylor trying to go for the home run, that pile driver, but Sting with the tremendous strength that he still has left in those legs. He's in great condition. Now Sting is opening up on Taylor, and he is vicious. He is brutal on Taylor, and Taylor is feeling it here. Well, he's taking the battle to him right here. Tremendous, tremendous press slam right here. Sting really showing what he's made of. He's got Terry Taylor right where he wants him, and now he's turning this battle around. I think we're going to see a big change. It could be a one, two, three, but... Taylor kicks out at the... I mean, that's two and a half. That's two and a half, and now Taylor fighting back and burying the knee. It's fist and fire in the squared circle. This is a UWF at its very finest. Oh, the referee! Fergie is out! Back and head first on the concrete. Steve with a clothesline, and he has planted Taylor, but there is no referee. Hot step, Eddie Gilbert is at ringside. Somebody needs the referee needs to get back on his feet so he can watch this action here. Gilbert is giving Taylor that boot. That boot has played a big part. And one other match, Gilbert was really selling himself to Taylor and giving Taylor that boot. Sting is bringing the referee back in so he can count the ball. But Taylor has the boot of, oh, and he hit him right in the face with a cowboy boot. He has Sting right in the face with a boot. Unbelievable turn of this. That boot spelled so much trouble for Sting already, and now yet another loss going down to the boot of Eddie Gilbert. Terry Taylor accepted the boot from hot stuff Eddie Gilbert. Gilbert showing no allegiance, no feelings whatsoever with his protege Sting. And look at Gilbert and Taylor at ringside. It's really repulsive. Gilbert has finally and seemingly gotten to Terry Taylor, but Terry Taylor took advantage of the moment, and he has won this match in so much controversial fashion. Terry Taylor has definitely scooped as low as I think humanly possible, and he's in good company with Eddie Gilbert. wonders in the ring at one time that's exactly what it is right there Eddie Gilbert the man who's definitely responsible for all these things that have happened to Sting in the past holding on to him trying to do all this damage we need to get somebody down here somebody needs to come out here give Sting a hand this isn't right two on one situation Sting's a good man but somebody's got to help him Chris Adams has come to the ring he's taking my chair and he is ready to clean house and I mean sprinting from the ring. Adam's like a wild man with a steel chair. 
It was Chris Adams who came to save Steve. I want Taylor. I want Taylor now. I want him here in the middle of the ring. Hey, listen. You wait a minute. Hey, you just wait a minute. You people now have all that chance, you've all that time to see exactly what a low-down bum Terry Taylor is. You've had time to see what he's done to me. You've had time to see the way he made me lose the tag team belt. And you've all seen him pile drive me at the concrete Permian Hospital. And now I just witnessed something. He walked away. He walked away. With Eddie Gilbert. Ladies and gentlemen, well, you know, we're going to have to take a commercial break here in just a moment. I've been notified. We'll keep it here. Please, let's keep it here as long as we can. The sides are being taken. Sides are being taken. We all know what happened to Dr. Death. We all know I understand, gen I understand gentlemen, that we have to take a commercial break, but please hold it here for as long as you can. What about you? What about you? What side are you on? Ladies and gentlemen, I, we've, we've got the. Well, I know we have to take the break, but it's just please keep it here for just a few more moments. Are you with me? We're against me. We want to hear this. What do you think? What do you think? I understand we have to take the break, but we're, we need are to you hear this. Me? We're going to the break, we're going to the break. I, but that's...